What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have a little bit of Lions news, and that is the fact that our starting left tackle, Taylor Decker, has started to talk to the Detroit Lions about his future in Detroit. Now, before we do get into it and talk about whether that would be a good or a poor decision for the Detroit Lions to make, I would like to ask that if you are new to the channel and are enjoying this type of content, that you either like a video, subscribe to the channel, or share, share it with somebody that you think would enjoy this type of content just as much. And, you know, as long as somebody is viewing the channel, if you, whether you are just giving a view or you like the videos or, you know, even subscribe to the channel, I appreciate everybody that helps this channel in any way. And, you know, anybody that helps this channel makes my day and I'm very appreciative to everybody that does that. But with that being said, let's get into the Lions news. Now, Taylor Decker has been a very good, reliable starting left tackle for the Detroit Lions since he got here. In 2016, he was the 16th overall pick by the Detroit Lions out of Ohio State. Now, in his four years in Detroit so far, he has played in 3,586 snaps for the Detroit Lions, committed 31 penalties, and given up 17 sacks. Now, to put that in perspective, that is every 116 snaps he commits a penalty, which, you know, you'd probably like to see that be a little lower. But every 211 snaps, he gives up a sack, which is not horrible considering that you know, that's not even every game. You know, he, he's given up 17 sacks in four years. That's pretty good. And considering oh, he had a very down year last year, you know, if he can pick his play back up a little bit, then I think that, you know, the, it would look a lot better because he gave up seven sacks last year. And before that, it was actually, it was only 10. So he had a down year last year, but before that, he's been a very good tackle. And I think last year he had kind of a down year, but I think he could definitely pick that play back up next season. Now, to put that in perspective with the other tackles that were taken in the first round, um, obviously those being Ray, Ronnie Staley, uh, tackle taken sixth overall, Jack Conklin, who was taken eighth overall, and Laramie Tunsil, who was taken 13th overall. Now, Ronnie Stanley has played in 3,864 snaps, committed 25 penalties, and eight sacks given up. Now, that's every 438 snaps is a sack given up, and every 115 snaps is a penalty given up. He is the best tackle out of this class so far, and like him, he is looking for a contract extension with the Baltimore Ravens this offseason. Now, looking at the other two, Jack Conklin played in 3,514 snaps for the Tennessee Titans when he was there. He gave up 24 penalties and 12 sacks. That is every 146 snaps is a one penalty given up, and every 230 every 293 snaps is a sack given up now he signed with the browns this offseason to a three-year 42 million dollar deal making him a very wealthy left tackle in the league and you know he was really the first person in this draft class to get paid now the other person in this draft class was Laramie Tunsil, who probably would have gone much earlier in the draft if a certain video had not come out on draft night of him doing some pretty uh irresponsible things i'm gonna say now in his career he has get, he played in 3470 snaps. He has committed 44 penalties. This was really one of this is the most in the draft class or at least those out of the first rounders. He's committed the most penalties in his career with 44, which is over 13 more than Taylor Decker has allowed, but he's only given up 17 sacks. But if you're committing a, a, on average 10 penalties a year, you know, you can't be doing that. So that means every 79 snaps he gives up a penalty. And every 315 snaps, he gives up a sack. Now, he also signed a three-year deal with the Texans worth $66 million. So, if you want to look at that, you know, the first-round tackles in this draft class are making between $42 and $66 million a year on a three-year deal. Now, I think that Ronnie Stanley is going to get more than that, and I don't think Taylor Decker is going to get quite as much as those guys. Now, I'm not saying that Taylor Decker is a bad tackle overall, but I do think that he is, I think he's actually on par with Larry Tunsil as far as talent. Obviously, he has not given up as many penalties. He's not committed as many penalties, but he's given up a couple more sacks. So whether you think it's more important to hold, you know, and not let him hit your quarterback or, you know, play clean, but give up a couple more sacks, it's up to you guys. Um, you know, Logan Stenberg is one of those guys that commits a lot of penalties, but he doesn't allow them to hit the quarterback. You know, so I think that he will get, you know, somewhere probably close to Jack Conklin, um, maybe a little bit less, maybe somewhere in the high 30s. Um, and I think that he's looking for a long-term deal to stay in Detroit. I think that this was a pick well spent. 
Um, I know there's a lot of people that don't like Taylor Decker as a player. They think we could have got better value. But overall, I think he's been serviceable. He's been one of the really true pass protectors for Matthew Stafford the last four years. One of those guys that's reliable. You have faith that he's going to be able to protect Matthew Stafford fairly well on any given Sunday. And, you know, I think that if we were to sign him to a long-term deal, I think it would be worth it. I don't think that that was a wasted pick. I don't think that it would be a bad contract, you know, obviously depending on the money he gets. But I don't think extending him long-term would be a horrible idea. Obviously, Kenny Galladay is the number one priority. But after that, I think Taylor Decker is your second most important player as the offensive line is really what Bob Quinn has tried to build when he came to Detroit. And I think that this was his first pick as the general manager was Taylor Decker. And I think that was a good pick. I think that he needs to stay in Detroit because we have so much uncertainty on our offensive line right now. He and uh, Taylor Decker and Frank Ragnow are really the only two pieces that we know are going to be there. And we know where they're going to be 100% for certain. And I think that we need to keep guys like that, especially if they are, you know, the, at the talent level of Taylor Decker. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Or if you want to send me a DM or ask me questions on my Instagram, that will be in the description also. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think we should sign Taylor Decker to a long-term deal? Do you like Taylor Decker as our left tackle? Do you think we could have gotten a better player in the draft? And do you think we should extend him at all? Let me know all that in the comments below. Let me know your opinions. Thank you all so very much for watching this video. I appreciate everybody that supports me on this channel. And that is all I have for you all right now. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see everybody later. Bye.